Hello, Leo. Welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love. What can you expect in love? A little bit about who you might be dealing with. What's been going on in the recent past? Any challenges? All of that we'll be covering today. So let's jump right in for Leo. Hopefully I don't say Aries in this reading because I swear every time I start a Leo reading, Aries comes out for Leo. Regarding love. Regarding love. What's going on for Leo? All right, Leo, let's get started. What can you expect in love? What can you expect in love? Five of Cups. Sadness, regret, disappointment. This could be your energy that's coming up or the person that you're dealing with. What can Leo expect in love? The Tower? What's happening? Leo, something's happening that's not... Um, It'll be a surprise, but not not the best surprise. Let's see. Tell me about this tower and the five of cups. What's going on for Leo? I feel like you're going to find something out that's disappointing. What's going on for Leo? The star, Aquarius energy. Why is the five of cups here with the tower? The fool. Okay, this is making me feel better. Why is the five of cups here with the tower? Why is the Five of Cups here with the Tower? Oh, wow, the Ace of Wands. Leo, okay, Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So Spirit is reminding me that there's going to be something that's happening that's very disappointing for you, heartbreaking perhaps, but it's going to lead to something great. The Fool, Ace of Wands, the Star, Aquarius energy. Like there's something special being born out of whatever this is, whatever disappointment this is. So that's a little bit of reassurance for you that it's going to work out or it's going to be okay. What does Leo need to know? What's the energy for Leo in love? What's the energy for Leo? What's the energy for Leo in love? What's the energy? Judgment call. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason so someone's thinking with their head here making a specific choice okay let me get some more what else do we need to know for leo what's the energy for them in love what's the energy for them what's the energy in love Carriage, arrival, movement, travel. It could be some sort of arrival that surprises you, some sort of move that you have to make. Maybe you have to travel somewhere. Someone could be traveling to you. Hi ho, work, effort, dedication. Some of you, this could be a job that ends and you have to move jobs. Yeah, sad goodbye at the bottom of the deck. So there's something ending. It could also be a partnership. Maybe you have to move out after a partnership ends or you have to leave a job, but I don't think you should worry about it. It's going to be a sad goodbye, but there's something new that's headed your way here, a new cycle for you. What's been going on in the recent past for Leo? What's been going on in the recent past? The magician? What's been going on in the recent past for Leo? Wow, the Two of Cups. So you've been manifesting love or manifesting something to happen in love. Maybe you're putting yourself out there. You know, dating other people, making strategic partnerships, strategic friendships. What do we need to know about the Magician and the Two of Cups? Some of you wanted a, a new position or a new career field or something. The Emperor, Aries energy. I, I swear, Aries always comes up in Leo readings. 
Well, the magician and the emperor, you took charge. You wanted to make something happen or someone you're dealing with took charge and wanted to make something happen in, in regards to a partnership. What's the challenge for Leo? What's the challenge for Leo? What's the challenge for Leo, Spirit? What's the challenge? Challenge for Leo. Ten of Wands, a lot of baggage, Ten of Swords. So something already was an issue for you regarding a past ending, past difficulty, past betrayal. I feel like some of you have held on to something that hurt you. It's very hard to let go of this. It weighs on you, it weighs on your heart. You might try to ignore it, pretend it's not there, but it's there. The challenge is that someone hurt you in the past or something has been very difficult in the past and it still affects you. And I feel like it's the pain situation, the, the I, I'm getting the word uncomfortable. You're going to be put out of your comfort zone. There's something happening for you that's unexpected with the tower. And it's almost like this tower really sucks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It really sucks, Leo. But you don't realize that it's exactly what needed to happen for you to have a new beginning, a new start, a new cycle. Something that sets you on a whole new path. So, for example, if you lose a job, you're like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, I don't have any money or I need to worry about paying rent. But then you don't realize that you apply for a different job and it's the perfect job. Or you break up with someone, someone that you thought you could see a future with, and you have to move out of your shared space. And you're like, oh my God, how am I going to find like a new place? So you decide, I'm just going to move somewhere new. And you move somewhere new, and it's like so many doors open for you there. It's something like that. What do we need to know about this person that Leo is or has or will be dealing with? The person that Leo has been dealing with or will be dealing with. What's on their mind? What's their energy? The person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What's on their mind? Nine of Swords, Three of Wands. So they're worried about something. Why is the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. So this person, I feel like they're scared to make a move because they're worried that it won't happen the way that they are hoping. Six of Cups. Maybe they're worried because of the past. Ah, well, I'm going to take all of these. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. I think this is the person that hurt you. I think this person is like waiting for you to forgive them or waiting for you to come back or waiting to make some sort of move towards you. But they're worried because the past pain is like, you're going to be like this, seven of wands, back off. I'm not interested, you know. I'm not interested in new love because you walked away already. That's the uh, energy I'm picking up here. But you know what I'm getting here, Leo? I'm getting almost like this is not relevant. I hate to say it, cross watchers, please. Keep in mind that I'm reading for Leo, and Leo is my main priority right here. And make sure that the rest of the story resonates before you put yourself in a specific spot. But I feel like, Leo, you this is not relevant to your new path. Tell me more about this person's energy. By the way, I'm using my own Oracle decks. Uh, I do sell them on Etsy, so they're linked down below if you want to check them out. Tell me more about what's on this person's mind when it comes to Leo. What's on this person's mind? I pretend that I am okay, but inside I am hurting. Because this person's kind of um, playing themselves is what it looks like here. I think this person... They're regretting that they walked away from you, Leo, or that they hurt you. 
But again, I, I'm sorry to say, I don't feel like this ending is relevant to your future. This ending was meant to happen. This was meant to be over. And maybe this is what you need to get over this challenge of the past, right? Like maybe you need something to rock you so off base and completely push you out of your comfort zone that that's what you need to start over. You don't know that, but that's, I feel, what, where spirit is taking you. This tower moment is going to kind of shock you into a new path <laughs> or into something beautiful. And it's going to be very uncomfortable. The ride is going to be very uncomfortable all the way there. But it's going to be worth it. What's next for Leo? What's next for Leo? What can Leo expect next? And it could be that this person is who you're meant to be with. I'm not saying that they're not meant to be in your life. I just feel like right now you're being put on a whole new path. I don't think that spirit wants you to look back at the past right now. It's almost like look ahead because there's something for you there. Once you're there, maybe you can deal with the other past things. But I feel like that that's why, you know, it's like you're on a carriage right now. And it's a one person ride. What can Leo expect in the near future, Spirit? What can Leo expect? Justice, Libra energy. What can Leo expect in the near future? Seven of Swords. I feel like someone's going to try to be a Seven of Swords, but they're not going to get anywhere with, with Libra. I mean, with Justice here. Whatever happens, Leo, you have to use your head. Don't react emotionally. Yeah, someone's going to try. Yep, and they're not going to succeed. Yeah, there's the Empress. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords, Justice, right? It's like it's almost like someone's going to try to do something behind your back, but it's not going to work. Five of Swords, Six of Wands, you're still going to succeed. Or you're going to catch them in the act. And this could be related to love, related to work. It could be that someone that you trust is going to try to take advantage of something uh, related to you. Maybe you had like an idea for a project at work and someone else takes the credit, but it's not going to work. You know, maybe you decide like, screw this. Like they don't deserve me. You know, they don't deserve me. I'm an empress. There's more for me out there. That's the energy I'm getting here. Whoever's going to try to get in your way or take advantage of you, it's not going to work. You're showing up as an empress. So I feel like this is... I feel like all of the dominoes are falling around you and you don't understand why it's happening. But if you zoom out, you'll see that it's creating a path for you to get out of that whole domino falling around you situation. Does that make sense? You're in a maze and a path is being cleared for you, but you don't see it right now. All you need to know is that there's something better for you on the other side. That's the message for you. Don't worry, it will all work out better than you hoped. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.